He's going to pay. <laughs> so I'm Stephen Green. I'm a recovering banker and economist. And what I'm going to talk about tonight is the case for spending small. Uh, we live in a city, Portland, Oregon, um, that is known for its small businesses. And when I think about small businesses, I think about people like this. Yes. Tom Peterson. There you go. So if you, are, if you are sitting next to someone who was laughing, that person is probably from Portland. And that's, this is totally just here for a test to see people. So they do exist. Um, but when I do think about a small business owner, I think about the squirrel right here. They're planners. They're always ready. Um, squirrels don't put nuts just in a pile somewhere. They have a plan. They put them in their tree. They snake them away from other people. And what do they do? They get nuts, and then they get some more nuts. Um, and entrepreneurs, you know, here in Portland, they, they hustle, and they grow, and they work on things, and they work in the shadows, and they do all the stuff that most of us that have regular nine-to-five jobs are just not willing to do. Entrepreneurs are the people that are willing to to stay away from places like this. This is, this is the back office at a not small business. So when you, when you order on amazonsmallbusiness.com, this is where you're ordering from. It's, it's not laughing, there's no jokes going on here, there's absolutely nothing. As opposed to when we think about small businesses here in Portland, you think about people like Kim Malik and Ben Jacobson from Salt and Straw and Jacobson Salt. These are people that have amazing personalities and amazing stories that we can you know, go and see and talk to. And I think about you know, my journey as an entrepreneur. Some friends and I, we got together a few years ago and we started a, a nonprofit brew pub because we thought, wow, people love drinking beer. We have a ton of nonprofits here. Might as well. Um, and then you know, entrepreneurs here, we have, we have soul. You know, um, you go to Mama Son Soul Shack in St. John's, you're going to get some great food, but you're also going to hear from, from Christopher, the owner there, and his passion for being an entrepreneur and how he's gotten to where he is so far. Uh, we also have amazing things happening where we're disrupting industries like finance. Um, Albina Community Bank, one of the few commercial community banks in the nation that was grown out of a problem of people being underbanked in Northeast Portland. And now they've been helping folks for more than 20 years. Uh, we're also home to the only footwear design school in the world, Pensole Design Academy. Woohoo! Uh, so it's, it's owned by a gentleman named Dwayne Edwards, who never went to college, yet teaches a class every year at MIT. Uh, we're an amazing small business town. People in Portland are 50% more likely to be entrepreneurs than, any other, than uh, on the national average, uh, and that's growing each and every day. We're also a place where people come together and do things in community. Uh, the Soul District was a, a group of people in Northeast Portland that decided you know, to be proactive and, and take the community back and really focus on helping black entrepreneurs in the, the city's entrepreneurial hub um, for the black community. And then we have people like Simple um, that are going and disrupting something like banking where it says, you don't have to have a branch. No one needs to go into a branch at all. I can do all of my banking from my phone and have it be simple and think about my money in a different way. Uh, we also have Locations opening up like Made Here PDX, where their sole mission is to just highlight Oregon-made products, where you can go and see and touch and feel the things that are coming from crafters in our city and in our state. Uh, and places like ADX, where they've created a brand called Portland Made. For any of you who are from Oregon, you know that the, the DNA of us is making things. Uh, much of it was from the lumber industry. Now a lot of it is in tech, but we make shoes. We make a lot of stuff, and, and that's a big thing. We also leverage things like crowdfunding. And the coolest cooler is, is an example of us really swinging for the fences. Um, and I love that something like that happened here in, in Portland. And a guy who was looking for $50,000 ended up with $13 million. Um, for those who don't know this gentleman, this is Tyrone Poole. Ten years ago, I met Tyrone. He was in a homeless shelter. Uh, last week, he was awarded the number one uh, tech startup entrepreneur in Portland by the Oregon Entrepreneurs Network. Um, last year, I started an event called Pitch Black. Um, there's two realities that are happening in Portland right now. The number of entrepreneurs is growing up, and the number of black entrepreneurs is growing up tremendously. And so we have an event that people come to, and we have people pitch. And then my office is right above one of my favorite places in this town, Deadstock Coffee, where community comes together. I think one of the things that are, that's really critical about small businesses is, is, is really connecting with people and connecting with your community. You're able to do that there. Uh, again, I'm Stephen Green. Find me on Twitter. Uh, and, you know, go and spend small. We're open. Thank you. Yeah.